Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead, we got something else. Beyond the pale. Beyond the natural world. Instead, we got hit by someone like me. Megan can take care of herself. Listen to me, talking to myself like the old loon I am. Megan is out in the city, but I'll explain. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker, kept secure by a fancy lock. Made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy. They'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Coming back here, seeing it changed, run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. The old Batista neighborhoods, full of mining families called the Dust District now. I knew plenty of people like Paolo growing up. Maybe not as crafty. Vice Overseer Burn. I dread each interaction with the Abbey. No more witches in Karnaka. What's that? Ready now? Let's go. We'll take Megan's skiff closer. I didn't know Aramis Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. But the new Duke spends money so fast the mine crews work all day and all night the district's in ruins the dust drives out anyone except the most desperate the duke of Circonos has made a mess of things his father was a good man true but the new duke's misery has only been possible with Dunwall's support in any case you'll have to pass through the dust district maybe Stilton's still in there or maybe he's dead. Find Megan once you reach the Dust District. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the Dreadful Whale after you finish. Grenade, and that was it. 
He was one of the Duke's distant cousins. Right ahead, pal. Let's hope they do it. That won't happen until someone manages to kill either Paolo or Vice Overseer Burr. And I don't see you or me beating a pad to the crone's hand or up to the temporary stronghold the Abbey's got set up. won't just leave the district and the howlers can't paolo has a price on burns head and the vice overseer effectively wants the same thing hello lord protector stilton's home is just beyond here but getting inside will take some effort i've been doing reconnaissance talking to people the Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them, and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Burn is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. you know what you're doing. I studied field tactics with Brother Cardoza in the peninsula. The pirate crews there resort to these same dirty tricks. Seems like a good way to take a dart to the belly. Well, the Howlers aren't known for their caution. But these aren't too hard to deal with. If you've got a steady hand and you know what cables to cut, you've got to do it just right. 
wait a second. Are we not brothers? Find another way to get any. This path is far. You stand back. accused of actions forbidden by the teachings of the Abbey of the Everyman. Given that each crime was witnessed or later verified by sworn and faithful overseers in good standing, no trial is required. For theft of food, for hindering a sworn overseer of the Abbey in his duties, death. No! For the keeping of articles of a heretical and fetishistic nature. For consuming the flesh of rats. Death. I faced worse than you, Abbey boys. Silence, apostate! Well done. A shepherd must cull his flock. shared his plans with me. He's upstairs now, so I assume we'll learn something before long. I'd wager it'll all be over soon. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to deal with a mob of ruffians. You know what the strictures say about wagering, brother. The howlers are merciless, and Paolo carries the outsider's blessing. Some talisman come straight from the jaws of the void itself. Keep that in mind, or you'll find yourself bleeding out in some alley. Forgive me, Brother Mikos. Um... Untruth. The echoes of lies come back to the voice of the outside.
The sisters of the oracular order have seen it, and I feel it in my bones. So this stalemate with the howlers must be resolved. The eliminate power. There's no end to the influence we'll exert over Karnaka, over all of Sirkonos. A dozen overseers have died trying to bring Paolo down. We've struck him fatal injuries, and somehow he comes back the next day to fight again. Whatever witchcraft he has, even the ancient music is ineffective. I believe Paolo is in possession of some unclean artifact. It's my fear that he has to be killed twice in one day. And the Duke won't help? The Duke is no friend of ours. He exiled me from the Grand Palace, and he's done everything possible to push the Abbey of the Everyman out of Sir Konos. The look on his face when he dismissed me from court. There's something wrong with people who live in palaces for too long.
wasn't running the mines night and day, our children wouldn't be choking themselves to sleep at night on the dust. It's easy to blame the Duke, but we both depend on the profits from industry. The mines are the lifeblood of this city. No. The Duke could have continued operations like his father did. Fast enough to sustain the city without burying us all in dust. How? There are twice as many people living in Karnaka now. If the mine slowed down, half the people in my family would be out of work. What's the point of being worked into an early grave? Just so you can afford to eat for a while? says he's carrying some old lady's hand. This must be Paolo's place. Vera More, I heard a 
remember that name. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes, pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circanos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? better working conditions and less dust in the streets, we'd be happy to up our payments. There's a way to satisfy everybody. First, in this district, then across the city. The people who work the mines have more power than they know. Thank you, Paolo. It's when I'm stormy. All right, I'm stepping really away from all the Don't drink all the rum while I'm gone. What are you out there thinking, Vice Overseer Byrne?
Hollow had Granny Rag's hand. There's poison here. Why is it all? You don't look right. Oh, I don't feel so well. Go on. Too cautious. Well, shop's getting there. there. Off. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. do to keep the dust out. Come on, we could do business. <laughs> I shouldn't deal with strangers. I wake up. I need a win. Come on. Hmm. If I cover your face, are you worried someone might recognize you? Does that again? Who is the type of
That's it. The information was good. 